Hi, this is Tori Wheel with the Oracle Technology Network. We're here talking to members of the Java community here live from the floor of J Focus. And I have Antonio with me. Hello. 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 So we were trying to figure out the name of your company and what it actually meant. So why don't you explain that to me? Well, um, my company, uh, our product is called Links. The name comes from Link of Things. Link of so, Things. Uh, okay. That's that why uh, it starts with L. And uh, the name is Link, of, well, the, the meaning of the name is Link of Things because one of the purposes of the cloud platform we develop is uh, to link things together over the internet. We okay. provide connectivity for devices over the internet. So the internet of things, IoT is hot, hot, hot. So everybody yeah. wants to connect devices. So tell me what opportunities you provide for Java developers that want to look into that space. Well, one of the main points regarding the the Java library we have to we, we provide to interact with links is that you can focus on coding what your d devices do, the actions your devices do, and the events then save the information they copy over the internet uh, without needing to write any single line of networking code. You forget about uh, writing uh, code for opening and closing sockets, opening ports. Uh, you get rid of all firewall issues. You have a built-in security. You have uh, also um, the ability to do a server push from the from the from the outside the firewall, for example. So it's very very easy to um, to um, connect your devices without even knowing about uh, net networking. Um, okay, so you don't have to be an expert in the hardware. Right, an expert in figuring out security for specific devices. That's right. You can focus on the application, right? That's Is that right. what you're saying? Okay, cool. So um, you're, you're, you put it up on the cloud, right? Is that how, what you were used? Yeah, uh, we have a cloud service that uh, is in, uh, well, in, in www.links.com. Okay. And uh, there uh, you can, well, using our libraries, and also if uh, your device is not supported, you can use our REST APIs. You can connect to, to our services in the cloud and uh, connect uh, devices that are uh, at your home or even uh, maybe at your home with device in your office or uh, if you have an industrial application, you can connect devices that are far apart together over the internet very easily. Do you have an example, a cool use of your technology? Well, for example, uh, we are, today we make a small demonstration here at JFocus where we have a small temperature sensor that was at home, and uh, a hue lamp from Philips that was, for example, at your office. So connecting the temperature sensor and the hue lamp uh, over the internet with links, we have been able to give a visual temperature feedback of the temperature at home. So when the temperature was cold, the lamp uh, color was blue, and when the temperature rised up, the um, color was red, but it's also being used for monitoring, for example, um, uh, the, um, the air conditioning system of uh, hangars at airports. And uh, well, it's uh, something that can be used both for um, small projects and big ones, even industrial ones. So it's only limited by your imagination, right? I mean, uh, in, in some ways, yes. <laughs> yes. Sensors are everywhere. So thank you for dropping by. It's fascinating to learn about what you're doing and what's blowing up in the IoT space. And if you're a Java developer, this is certainly an opportunity to get out there and do something new and interesting. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for dropping by.